Hey there! My name is Victoria and in this video I'm going to explain what is error common name invalid and how to fix it. Let's go! Is your browser showing an error message like this? It often means there's an issue with the site's SSL certificate or your browser configuration. The message you see will depend on the browser. Google Chrome usually displays your connection is not private, while Mozilla Firefox says warning potential security risk ahead. When a user tries to access a website, the browser will need to verify the website's SSL certificate to establish a secure connection. If the browser has failed to verify the SSL certificate, it will show the error common name invalid message instead. This error might seem tricky to troubleshoot since there are many possible reasons behind it. But don't worry, I will share 5 methods to quickly fix it. If you see this error as a visitor, clearing the browser's cache is a way to fix it. Browser cache stores records of websites you have visited, so the browser can load them faster the next time. But an outdated cache can load an old version of the website, causing this error. So clearing the browser's cache from time to time will prevent this issue and ensure your browser will always load the most recent version of the website. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clear the cache on Google Chrome. First, click on the three dots icon on the top right corner of your browser window. Then go to More Tools and select Clear Browsing Data. We can choose the time range, so let's set it to All Time. And then tick the Cached Image and Files checkbox and click on the Clear Data button to delete your browser cache. Keep in mind that you might experience a longer site loading time when accessing your website after clearing the cache. Another option is to change your local area network or LAN settings. Proxy settings route website traffic to protect users from malicious third parties, so any misconfiguration can prevent you from accessing websites. On macOS, navigate to your system preferences and choose Network. Then select your network service from the list and click Advanced. Head to Proxies tab and tick the box next to Automatic Proxy Configuration. Click OK to finalize the changes. Now, if you have Windows, head to your control panel and select Network and Internet. Then choose the Internet options and click on the Connections tab. Select LAN settings and tick the Automatically Detect Settings option and click OK button to finalize the changes. If the error persists, having too many browser extensions may be the culprit as they may conflict with one another. To confirm if that's the reason, open the website using an incognito window. If the website works, you will need to identify the conflicting extension and delete it. On Google Chrome, click the three dots and head to More Tools and select Extensions. Select the newest extension first and disable it. If that doesn't solve the issue, try disabling the others one by one. Once you find the conflicting extension, remove it. To prevent this issue from happening in the future, make sure to audit and update your extensions regularly. If the issue is happening on your website, check if the certificate is set up correctly. One of the most common causes of this error is a mismatch between the common name on your SSL certificate and the correct domain name. The common name represents the server name protected by SSL certificate. So, an SSL certificate is only valid if the requested hostname matches the certificate's common name. Now, different browsers have their own methods, but the overall process is more or less similar. I will show you how to troubleshoot it on Google Chrome. Start by clicking on the padlock icon on the address bar. From the drop-down menu, click on Connection is Secure and select the Certificate is Valid option. A window will open containing the website's SSL certificate details. Next to Issued to, you should see that the common name listed matches the domain name. If there's a mismatch, the only solution is to uninstall the current SSL certificate and get a new one. With Hostinger, uninstall your SSL certificate by logging into your account and heading to SSL. Click on the three dots icon to uninstall. Then you can reinstall it in the same section. Now, if the previous method didn't fix the issue, you can also configure your URL settings via phpMyAdmin. 
Sometimes this error happens due to a URL difference between the option value in the site URL and home rows of your website's database. Under the database section, click on PHP My Admin to open the application. Choose your site's database and find the WP options table. In the table, look for the site URL and home rows. Make sure they both redirect to the same URL. If they do not have the same values, then click on Edit button to match them and click Go to finalize the edit. And that's it! Here you have 5 methods to fix the error common name invalid. Please comment below to let us know which method worked for you. If you want to read more information about this error, I have linked our tutorial in the description below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. See you next time!